Now, I know that Canadians are used to getting complete results on election night, but it will be different for this election. Elections Canada says due to the huge number of expected mail-in ballots, it could take two to five days for every vote to be counted. Elections Canada says that in a normal election year, they'd get around 250,000 mail-in ballots, including those from overseas Canadians and people in the armed forces. But this year, Elections Canada has ordered over 5 million mail-in ballots. The count of regular uh, ballots on ordinary polling day and advanced polls will be completed uh, on the night of the election as usual. However, the count of mail-in ballots will start after election day once all the mail-in ballots that electors have dropped off at polling stations have been returned and integrity checks have been performed. For people voting in person, Chief Electoral Officer Stéphane Perrault says you can expect to see something similar to a grocery store. Social distancing, hand sanitizer, and masking if the local health authority requires it. But Perrault wasn't able to explain what will happen if someone refuses to wear a mask by choice. And you have a, a medical reason not to wear a mask, then you will not be denied the right to vote. But if it's just a matter of personal choice and the, and the mask is mandatory in the jurisdiction uh, in which you're voting, then we will apply those rules. Elections Canada also says it's not making vaccination mandatory for polling workers. While Perot says he expects many workers will be vaccinated anyway, he says polling stations will be tightly managed and it'll be easier to control spread. The recommendations so far uh, do not include making vaccination mandatory. And as I indicated, uh, you know, we are recruiting ordinary Canadians, serving ordinary Canadians, and they will encounter them in locations that are highly controlled, much more controls than the kind of encounters you see uh, at the grocery store uh, every day. Now, Perot also says they need Canadians to step up and work polling stations. Elections Canada needs around 250,000 people. But in 2019, a year without a pandemic, they only got around 230,000. In Ottawa, Shaoli Lee, City News.